oh. or first 45 live. Our first 45 live, which at day 20, we actually had to stop because we got so much business, right? And uh, the video that kickstarted that, and you know, you can always go back and listen to that episode. But long story short, we ended up landing a $75,000 a year client because of that video that we published at 11.30 at night. Mm -hmm. So I tell this story to Mario and he's like, okay, I'm, I'm doing it today, <laughs> right? Perfect. So he goes in and obviously, you know, I go to bed and I wake up this morning to an awesome, awesome, awesome text message, voice note from him. He's like, dude, look at the, what happened, right? So he went on, he did the framework. He did like teasing the, the, the story, doing his offer, then telling the story, then doing another offer and telling them how to contact him. Like, hey, you can contact me here. Send them one direction, right? And uh, guess what? He made an offer. And from his first offer, one person that really like synced with his message and his story, he's like, Mario, count me in. I want to be part of this training. I want to be part of it. I'm in this place where I'm not happy with my company. And you have the solution. And I want that solution. Not because he advertised the solution, but because he described the problem and he told a story about that problem and how he was able to solve it. Yeah, the other person related. They're like, wow, like I see myself exactly where you were, whatever, five months ago. And now I want to be where you are right now. Exactly. And that's how he presented his first offer after just seven days of polishing with no product. And now he has somebody that he can ask questions who's like, hey, how can I help you? How can I serve you? And now it's just that. So he has about 30 something more days to do this and make offers so he can build that list to the first yeah. ever selling process that he's going to do. So this is so freaking exciting. Yeah, not only that, but get, you know, get used to making offers. I yes. think it's just like, and we had this problem. Well, I don't know about you. I had this problem <laughs> that is like just being scared of asking people to go buy something or to sign up to something, right? Like go into your offer because you think you're taking advantage of them. And again, we've talked about this in previous episodes. Yeah. I'm sure we, we can refer them in the notes here. But I mean, long story short, people are afraid of making sales because of like, we think we're taking advantage of others the way we've been kind of like raised with sales, right? Like we, we think sales are sketchy. But when you shift your perspective and you think you're coming from a place of service, it all changes, right? Like it, 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 it gives you a whole different outlook on what sales is. And it allows you to come from a place of like power and just give your solution, not give your solution, present your offer to these other people so you can help them. And you're actually going to be excited to present your offer yeah. at this point. And uh, yeah, so I, I think that was such a cool story because a lot of people come to us and they're like, hey, how do how do I do it? Do I need like a full content machine? You don't like it does help. Right. It multiplies your points of contact. But at the beginning, you don't need it. Um what else? He's like, I, I, I'm really, what Fancy just said, like, I'm scared of making offers because we've raised, we've been raising a way to, to see sales as a negative thing, as a convincing, you know, you have the typical stereotype of the used car salesman, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not, you're adding value to somebody's life. You're solving somebody's problems, right? And it's okay to make that offer in exchange of money, right? Yeah. So um, then after that, it's like, well, the next thing is like, well, what if I don't have enough time or I don't have a product? Well, same thing. Mario did not have a, pro uh, a product. Yep. He went back and as soon as he started publishing, this is why this is so important because as you start publishing, you're going to discover your message. You're going to discover who you serve, the people that sync with your message. And then from there, your head is going to start turning and you're going to find out that there was something, sometime in your life that you're very good at and you're solving somebody else's problems. So if your objective is to make money through content, right, or create that profit or create that life that you really want, this is a really cool process to start with. So you can even do yeah. it as an experiment, right? So you don't need a product because to get started, right? Once you get started, you're going to start moving the pieces and find that product. And then the next thing is that you got to make sure that you follow that framework of, you know, going back is like, I make an offer through my message on my content through my publishing. 